Hello friends, this video on common and compound part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. I told that the carbon has a lot of compound because it has a unique property of forming bond with other carbon atoms. And that gives rise to a large number of molecules. This property is called condition. Please note, carbon has a unique ability to form bond with other carbon atoms and this gives rise to a large number of molecules and this property is called catenation correct these compounds may be a long chain branched chain for example if you see this branch now or can even be a cyclic change correct if you see this guy is a long chain this guy is a branch one this guy is a cyclic one so, catenation is the process where the is the property actually the process property of the carbon to form chain kind of structure by forming bonds with other carbon, and this can be a long chain, can be branch chain, or can be a cyclic, right? In addition to this, carbon may form single, double, or triple bonds. That's also part of catenation, right? So. It may form single bond, for example, in this case, all single bonds. Double bond, if you see, there's a double bond between these two carbons. There's a triple bond between these two carbons. You see the electronic configuration of this carbon has four, right? So this guy had four. This guy also had four. It wanted eight, so it got one and one from this hydrogen, and it shared two electrons with this carbon. So it got eight, right? So it got eight in this fashion. So talk about this carbon, it got 8 in this fashion. And that's how the sharing worked. In this case, also it had 4, but it could get only one atom from this hydrogen and so it, it, it shared three atoms with this carbon. And that's why it formed this kind of structure as well. This one. You have to add these atoms also, hydrogen atoms, correct, so got 8, similarly this guy, so carbon can form double bond, triple bond or single bond also, depending on the condition, so carbon has two properties, one it forms a chain by uniquely uh, combining with other carbon atoms, right, so it can form chain, branch, or cycle, or it can form double bond, single bond, triple bond, so you add all these things, right, with that it gives huge number of carbon compounds, huge number. And please know that no other element exhibits such a property of chemistry. There are, but no other elements. Right? Silicon, it also has four runs electron. It, it, it forms a compound with hydrogen, but the chain is at the max to seven or eight atoms. But they are very reactive, they are not stable. But carbon is very strong and stable and it forms a long chain, maybe 30 atoms, 40 carbon, 50 carbons. If you see a uh, bulk metal stifluron is 60 carbons, right? So it forms a huge, big, big, big chains, and that's why it has so many compounds. And that's the reason why we have a whole branch of uh, chemistry that deals with this carbon compounds and branch called organic plates. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.